Yep, I cried like a bitch. Let's review Nowhere. Nowhere stars Anna Castillo, Tamar Novas, and is directed by Albert Pinto. What's up guys? Welcome to a brand new 2023 review. Um, oh my God, so many freaking movies. Uh, so little time, but there's just a lot of great movies coming out this year. I just saw this one today based on the recommendation of my friend Jason from Sinister Cinema Reviews. I've been plugging him a lot lately because he watches everything. And um, guys, check out Sinister Cinema Reviews. If you want a really good detailed reviewer that just watches everything or almost everything, I mean, his list, he probably watches at least 150 to 200 movies a year. So uh, he mentioned this one to me, stating that you need to check out this movie. It's really good. So I did. I love survival movies, and that's what this movie is. So let me set things up for you. And by the way, this is a foreign film. It's on Netflix right now. I believe it's Spanish. I think it's a Spanish film. I did watch the English dub. I usually don't do that, but I figured I'd try it. I got to give credit to the English dub actors on this one. They did a really good job. They kept me afloat, no pun intended, uh, throughout this whole movie. Uh, you know, there's because there's a lot of emotional scenes in this. And whoever did the English dub did a really great job, okay? And the actors in this movie, fantastic. But anyway, let me give you a quick plot synopsis. Uh, in Spain, this is set in the future. There's like this dictatorship. And they're really trying to just eradicate uh, women and children and the elderly okay so basically you have these uh shipping containers full of families you know and mostly the ones that they want to get rid of right if you're not useful then we're going to get rid of you and so they're in hiding they're just trying to escape and so right at the beginning of the movie just imagine you got the shipping container full of people this militia group they come in and they kill everybody they just shoot everybody they are completely heartless uh, and even, even if they see like a little kid, they freaking kill them. This is the very beginning of the movie, okay? And so the entire premise of this movie is this one pregnant woman who is separated from her husband and she is the only survivor in this shipping container. And it's out in the middle of the ocean and uh, she only has so long to survive, but luckily she has her wits about her. She's able to feed herself. She's able, able to think on her feet and um, try to survive until she can get help. That's basically the, the entire premise. It pretty much feels like Castaway, kind of that type of movie, right? Just a single one location type of movie. You definitely have to have these types of films storyboarded out, you know, putting our main character in different situations along the way, uh, different survival situations to try to figure out how to, to basically figure out how to have shelter, to have food, keep the water out of the container. All that's in here. And I think it's all handled beautifully. And by the way, this film by uh, Albert Pinto is shot just gorgeous, just gorgeous. There is a section of this review, and I'll give you a warning, that I'm gonna give you a light spoiler. And what I mean by light spoiler is this is something that happens at the, I'd say the end of the first act, okay? But I definitely want to mention it because it pretty much steers the course of the rest of the movie. And it's a, it's a major plot point, okay? So, uh, when I get there, if you don't want to know this plot point that happens at the end of the first act, then you might want to leave. Now, there are certain actors that just have uh, that just have the it factor. They have a charm about them. Uh, Anna Castillo, who carries this entire movie, you just cannot help but love her to death. You want her to get out of this. The acting is just the, the beginning of it. It's the whole package, the way she carries herself. Uh, her physicality with the role because she definitely has to get get her hands dirty, so to speak, uh, in this movie. You know, there's like a section where she has to drill these holes in the top of the container to try to fashion some sort of uh, access door. You know, that's just one example, but there's so many different like survival techniques throughout this. 
you, you, you have to buy that the actor knows what they're doing. They are the character and she definitely gives off that vibe. You know, you believe her 100% of the way. And I, I just love survival movies because oftentimes you learn something. Certain things in there, you're like, oh, I never even thought about that. That's actually a pretty good idea, you know? Uh, she learns how to fish, for example. She she creates this net out of just, you know, like a speaker wire. You know, you have to use what is available to you in order to survive. And this shipping container, it has like, you know, a bunch of Tupperware. It might have some like... Um, electronics equipment, and, and you know, just a few other things. And you gotta figure out how am I gonna make this work? Also, she has these moments where she is, you know, talking to her husband, Nico, cause they are separated at the beginning of the movie. But she has a phone and they got a backpack cause Nico, I think he knew how to handle himself, you know, uh, living off the land. And I think he taught her quite a few things. And so they have these nice tender moments together, you know, just kind of spread out throughout the movie. And he really just is kind of her drive that keeps her going. She's also pregnant in the movie, so that's also her drive. You know, she has to do what she can to try to save her child. Okay, now we're gonna jump into that light spoiler. So if you don't want to know anything from here on out, then I'd suggest leaving. Highly recommend this movie though, I'll say that right now. So anyway, five, four, three, two, one, okay. Um, at the end of the first act, she has the child. And, and I think the scene is handled so well and it really just shows the entire act. And you, you're often asking yourself, damn, how did they pull this off? They, they like show her breastfeeding the child. It looks like a real, but it is a real baby. I can imagine logistically handling, you know, having a small child on set and how often can you use it? You probably gotta get everything you can in a day or two. You know, so they had to maneuver around all this stuff. And also, there's moments that are just extremely emotional between Mia and her child. Just very beautiful. And I'm not going to lie. Like I said in the intro, there's, there's quite a few moments in this movie where it slows down and you have these moments. And I, I teared up. I definitely teared up. You know, just the love that this woman had for her child. Just constantly never giving up. You know, going against the grain, doing as much as she can to save this child. And let's admit it, there's a lot of crap people in this world, okay? And, and when you're in a situation like, like this, I guarantee you there are probably some mothers out there that might not have uh, been so caring to their child. I know that's a horrible thing to say, but it's, it's a horrible world we live in. It asks a lot of you to A, survive in this situation where you probably are most certainly going to die and then be a great mother and take care of this child. So I don't mean that like in a negative way towards mothers out there. No, you guys have the, like the hardest job in the world, but I'm just saying it's easy to give up. And this character, one reason why you love her so much is because she doesn't stop. She never gives up. There's moments where she's like, I don't know how to do that, but I'll figure it out. And she figures it out, you know? And this movie just, it shows it, displays it perfectly but this is a thriller it's also pretty action-packed you know in, in, in certain moments it doesn't depend on a creature or an alien or anything like that it's just the human condition what do you got inside you to to help you survive you know or do you just give up and there's a moment in this movie where she feels like you know she wants to just give up but she doesn't she digs deep and i think that's what i love about this movie it's so inspirational it makes you kind of question your own life. What are you capable of? If you were in this situation, would you be able to survive and get out of it? And I think a lot of us are capable of more than we think we are. When you got nothing but time on your hands and you got to figure out a way to feed yourself, to get shelter, you, you become pretty resourceful, you know, when you're in that fight or flight mode. When I was in the military, I went through survival training. You learn a lot of great skills, but more importantly, you learn a lot about, about yourself and what you're capable of, things that you didn't think you were capable of, you know, they push you to the limit. So maybe that's why I love these types of films so much too, you know, because a lot of people, let's face it, most of us are not gonna be in this type of situation. But I absolutely loved this character, Mia. Uh, this movie is just filmed so beautifully. The music, I mean, this is cinema, okay? This is just beauty. And this is just another reason why I love foreign films so much. I'm not saying they're better than American films, but 
Maybe they are. I don't know. I just, I, I, most of the time when I see a foreign film, nine times out of 10, I'm going to love it, but I'm also going to notice something that you don't see in American films. And I think uh, American films are just too weighted down by political bullshit these days. And these foreign films, they ain't got time for that shit. They got a story to tell and, you know, th they represent the best parts of cinema that are there. You know, emotion. That's what it's all about. And it's been a long time since I cried in a movie. And you know what? It felt pretty damn good. So trapping on a freaking island for nowhere. All right. So definitely check this out when you guys get a chance. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays. We do for Fridays. Follow me on my socials. Support me on Patreon. Buy me a copy. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Drum them out.